Kenya. Kenyan anti-tax protesters set parliament on fire. Sections of the Kenyan parliament in the capital Nairobi were set on fire by anti-tax protesters on Tuesday, June 25, 2024, after they breached a wall of police sent to protect the building. The police eventually were able to expel the protesters from the building, employing tear gas and firing live rounds. Lawmakers, some of whom barricaded themselves in the basement, were evacuated through underground tunnels. The MPs had just passed the controversial bill to raise taxes by a vote of 195 to 106. The nearby office of the Nairobi governor, who is a member of President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance ruling party, was also set ablaze before the police were able to extinguish it with water cannons used for riot control. According to AP, demonstrators also torched the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance offices in the city of Embu in central Kenya. As reported by Sputnik Africa, protesters also set on fire the National Government Constituency's Development Fund office in the town of Kikuyu. At least eight people were shot and killed by the police, while 50 were reported injured. The Kenya Human Rights Commission showed a video of the police shooting live rounds at demonstrators and called for Ruto to issue an order for the police to stop the killings. Several prominent social media personalities were reportedly abducted in the wee hours of the night, just hours before the protests. The Kenya Human Rights Commission claims the abductions were, quote, conducted by police officers in civilian clothes and unmarked cars, unquote. The Gen Z protests began last week to oppose proposed taxes on items like fuel, basic foods, and other necessities to raise an additional $2.7 billion to reduce the deficit, although a third of the country lives in poverty. Kenya also has a foreign debt of $45.5 billion against the backdrop of a weakening national currency, thus making the payments on the debt more expensive.